um, the replacement or what was going to be the replacement frame replacement hippo frame for the uh, real ACC purple that I didn't think I was going to receive it was three weeks since I placed the order with Banggood I'd been back and forwards with them they said I had to wait another 18 days and I thought well there's no way I'm going to wait another 18 days so I thought well buggy you I am going to order um, the same thing, essentially the same thing from AliExpress. This is called the Hippo, I think that's probably the original. Turns out that my purple arrived, uh, which is what I did the build video of last weekend, and guess what? The Hippo arrived today. And so I'm not going to do a build video for this one because um, I'm not going to build it just yet. But I will do an unboxing and I'll put it together and I'll just do a quick comparison between the two really. So I'll just wrap this open. And the cool thing is that um, it was actually delivered on a Saturday via the courier, which is very unusual. So the first thing that springs to mind is that this didn't come in a box. The real ACC one did. Shouldn't be a problem, but uh, let's rip this open and have a look. Wow, how to make something so easy look so hard. And so again, the weather's up and down today. It's been raining, it's sunny, it's been raining, it's sunny. So I don't know if I'll get out for a fly today or not. Hopefully I will. Okay, so inside there, we have a static bag with our bits and bobs. The arms on this are actually slightly different looking at that. Okay, dokes, so there's the, uh, the lovely frame, uh, the side protection thingy jigs. Those are the things that really make it for me. I really do like that. Uh, there's the carbon side bits. The plates. Standoffs. This one. I wish these two little bags of screws. These ones are slightly different. Hmm. No PDB though. So there's the plate itself, the bottom plate. That one's chamfered. Wow, this is actually quite nice. Okay, so I don't know if you can see that, but it's actually a chamfered frame. That's really nice. It's not chamfered around the um, battery strap holes. So that could probably do with the sanding. But otherwise, it actually looks really nice. Wow. Oh yeah, that's stiff too. That's stiffer than the, uh, the real ACC version. Mm, wow. That's impressive. The real ACC one doesn't have these extension things on the end. I'm not sure what those are. I suspect that that might be where you run your power wires through if you wanted to put the motors on in reverse. So for example, if you wanted to put your motor on like that, you could actually run those down through there. And keep your arms clear. Don't know why you'd want to do that, but you could. Right, well... Um, Crack this bag open. Hi, oh, it's Steve from the future here. Uh, you probably noticed in the original live stream that there was some extra voices, some extra noise in the recording, and that's because I was watching the drone racing. Completely forgot about that, and of course, once that got underway, that just completely took over uh, the noise or the, the audio channel. And so I do apologize for that. So I thought I'd better do a proper video of this and do a, a voiceover for you so I can actually get this out and you can hear what I was saying properly. To continue on, uh, the frame 
that I got from AliExpress is very similar but slightly different to the one that I got from uh, Banggood, the real ACC frame. The real ACC frame uh, I've actually broken since recording this uh, unboxing. It was an unfortunate series of events. Um, I won't go into too many details other than to say it was my fault. The frame <coughs> couldn't have stood up to the uh, the beating that, it, that I gave it and uh, understandably it, it broke. So I'm down to the hippo frame now um, and I don't mean that in a bad way. It's a nice frame. It, it actually flies quite well. I've managed to bash one of the motor... I'm not sure what they are, those motor... square motor protector slash cable things on the end of the arms. I managed to fly backwards into a container and uh, I, cra I crushed one of those. Better that than crushing my motor, I suppose. The frame is definitely stiffer than the real ACC frame, and that's good. It flies slightly differently. Right, to continue on, the aluminium parts here are actually very similar, um, obviously not exactly the same because they're manufactured by different people, to the real ACC version. Um, you've got the two aluminium parts for each side, and then you've got the little antenna holder that goes at the back. Now inside the bag here we've got some some extra screws. Now what I discovered is that we've got these long screws, some of which go to hold the, <coughs> the antenna holder in place because it's actually got to go through the carbon, through the aluminium and then into the antenna holder. But on top of that uh, there are some countersunk screws for the top plates that go across the top of the frame. Now in the other bag we've got uh, 16 shorter screws and from memory I think it was like 10 of the longer screws and I suspect that the 16 longer screws are for the motors. Four for each motor, four motors, 16 screws. That kind of makes sense. And you know, just putting one of the, the screws through the carbon gives you a couple of three mils worth of thread to poke into the motor. Looking at these side plates, they're very similar to the real ACC frame, uh, not exactly the same. The, the cutouts at the front are slightly different. Also in the bag we get this nice little carbon wrench. And here are the two top plates. As I said, they've got countersunk screw holes. And you match those obviously with the countersunk screws that came in the bag. And here we go, fitting the countersunk screw. And it sits uh, lower than a regular screw but it's not flush. So here's the carbon side plate uh, matching up against the aluminium frame. So the rest of the video will basically be me just doing a quick fit together of the frame just to see what it looks like when it's uh, when it's built and then just a quick comparison of this one against the real ACC frame. So doing a comparison of the Hippo versus the real ACC frame, here's the final built version of the real ACC, and here's the Hippo. So they are very, very similar. 
as you can see uh, probably the biggest difference is that you've got the countersunk screws on the top plates the arms on the hippo are slightly narrower um, it, it's only two or probably a couple of mil I think and they are beveled of course which uh, which is nice you know you don't have to go sanding your frame and they do have those extensions on the end um, which are probably more of a protection thing looking at the real ACC frame the carbon is slightly rougher you know the edges aren't as nice it hasn't been beveled and hasn't been sanded you need to do that yourself so other than that the frames are pretty much the same the motors line up exactly the same so they are the same wheelbase so that concludes my unboxing and initial look at the Hippo frame. Uh, my apologies for the for the uh, tardiness of its appearance and the uh, voiceover I had to do at the end. So thanks for watching. Uh, please do keep subscribing, and uh, if you have any comments, please do leave them below. Okay, thanks. Bye.